Welcome to LTV Living. All right, what we're gonna do is combine the wet ingredients first. They take the longest, so here, is, here it is. Welcome to Healthy Vegan Living, a whole food plant-based lifestyle. We're going to need three quarters of a cup of mashed, no skins, no pits, and no end of the, like where the leaf part goes, into a blender. You're going to pulverize this. Next, you're going to need, you saw this in part one, where I made a cup of brown sugar. This has got two tablespoons of molasses. You need two tablespoons of vegan butter. This is earth balanced, non-GMO vegan. You need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I like to use McCormick, but as I do use other brands. You also need half a cup of soy milk, full circle organic original soy milk. That is basically your wet ingredients. Now I'm gonna clean this up and I'll show you the dry ingredients next. All right, now what we're gonna do next is we're gonna assemble the dry ingredients. You need two cups of all-purpose flour. What I'm using is gold medallion. You need half a teaspoon of pink salt, one teaspoon of Spice Island pumpkin spice spice, and you can buy this at Sam's Club. One teaspoon baking soda. Three quarters of a cup of vegan chocolate. And that's it. That's, that's basically your dry ingredient. Now, normally this recipe fits these ramekins if they are eight ounces. So we're gonna be putting them in these four ounce containers. We'll have to see how it turns out. The next step we're gonna do now is start combining. Get yourself a large bowl. You're going to add the following ingredients. Your persimmon, your persimmon pulp. I should take this thing out because otherwise it just kind of splatters. Your vegan brown sugar, your butter right here. Your vanilla extract. You're gonna combine this. Now that's combined, move this to the side. Probably that's the way it'll drip. Add the flour. Ah, I'm missing the baking soda. Turn on your oven. Bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. 350. Start. I couldn't figure out why. It was so thick, I forgot to add my soy milk. It's ready. Now you don't want to fill these any more than three quarters. Like that. All right, so we're just putting it in the oven next. Okay, so now all the ramekins are filled. Some a little bit over than three quarters, but you know, I'm gonna clean them up and getting ready to put them in the oven. I'm gonna put them in a parchment filled pan so that as they cook over, it won't get over my stove. So the oven is at 257 degrees right now, so it's gonna take a few minutes to get to, and then you'll be seeing me putting them in the oven. You cook this for only 35 minutes, and voila, your special dessert is done. All right, so it's at 350 degrees. Put your ramekins in. Make sure that the edges were clean, which I did that, and push them in. Don't forget to set your timer. So for me, the timer's there. Set your timer at 35 minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a toothpick or a fork or a knife, poke it in, and if, of course, if it comes out clean, it's ready to eat. They are gonna be kinda of cracked on the top, which is the purpose of the glaze. All right, and we'll show you if this persimmon pudding worked out. You see how the tops are just nice and fluffy? That's what you want. All right, so we're gonna let the time go by, and we'll see how it turns out. Now it took a full 35 minutes to cook these eight ramekins, and these are four ounces. Now these ramekins were not buttered, no parchment paper was put in. 
All I did is run my knife down, kind of release a little bit, and look, that's exactly what you're looking for. Same thing with these. So these guys that I glazed ahead of time, I'm sure they're going to give me all kinds of trouble to get them out. Or maybe just one big plate. Put these guys on top. This is for me. And then, it's the same thing with the other ones. Of course, they got that glaze on top now. That'll be a little. Look, they come right back up. coming out because I glazed ahead of time. It's absolutely delicious and it's perfect for our Christmas dinner. So what's left? Just serving it for at Christmas time, cleaning up a little bit of dishes and Christmas dinner is done. So I definitely recommend this recipe and I did not butter or put any kind of parchment paper on the bottom. It came out just perfect. You could put all kinds of coconut cream on there if you wanted to, but I'm going to eat them just this way with my prepared glaze, which is just basically persimmon and brown sugar. If you like what you see, subscribe. And if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.